Yeah. What's up, everybody? This is uh, today is uh, what is it? The eighteenth, nineteenth? What is it? The twentieth. Twentieth of September. Twentieth now. It's really the nineteenth for everybody that's paying attention. It says September twentieth, but it's really Friday night. It's Friday night at midnight. Um, and uh, this is a live fight, pat, uh, fight companion podcast. Brian Callen's supposed to be here, but of course he's fucking late. Brendan Schott's here. Standard. Holla, Big Holla. Brown's in the house. <laughs> and of course my brother Eddie Bra is here. Oh shit. Eddie Bravo in the house. And uh, we're, we're just looking at the, the blank screen right now while Mark Hunt is uh, going to face Roy Big Motherfucking Country Nelson tonight. Oh shit. Yeah, we can get some of that in there too. Um, we might not be able to smoke weed with Brendan Schaub in the room, though. When, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just hold my breath. December you... 6th. Hmm, what's today? We got some time. About 13 <laughs> weeks. I'll just hold my breath. Can you do that? Are you good at holding your breath? Mm -hmm. I know you have awesome cardio. I'm like a fish. <laughs> We're good. I'll just suck on this coffee all night. Yeah, Real need, quick, usually go to bed at 11, too. sip tea. Usually in bed by 11, sipping tea, guys. Are you really? Yeah. 11 p.m.? 11 every night. Wow. Are you training tomorrow? No. I trained twice today because I knew tonight's going to be a doozy. When you, uh, when you schedule, like, your, when you ramp up for a fight, so you're fighting in Decem December, December, December 6th. When you're ramping UFC up 181. Oh, shit. Where's that? Cards Beast, Vegas, Mandalay Bay. Ooh. Two title fights, then my fight. Travis Ooh. Brown. Ooh. <laughs> That's um, Vitor and Weidman, too, huh? And Showtime and Melendez. Oh, oh shit. shit. And then us. Big one. Good Lord. Any chicks fighting? Uh, not yet. Not that I know of. I don't watch UFCs unless there's a chick fighting. I hear you. Speaking of chicks, the, the one tonight is... I'm telling you guys, she's a little monster. Yeah, you got an issue with her. I do. This little filter thing. I got a little out. crush on her. Yeah, she's kind of hot. She was a little plump... And she got in some serious shape. <laughs> yeah, right. And has like, out. has like an at, like she's like curvy. She's <sighs> she's like Kim Kardashian but Japanese. Yeah, and got to come out in a, How cool would it be if she came out in a, the schoolgirl uniforms? Yeah, <laughs> remember that, that weird? dude that That'd used to dope. do that for Pride? He used to come out with pigtails. Yeah, weird for stuff. K1. K1, for K one. K one. Yeah. Dude, it's uh, the national pastime is to be into schoolgirls. How weird is her, that? Her biggest thing that she's ever Very. done? She dressed up like a bunny. Ooh. Dirty. Why do I know this? I don't know. Dirty bunny. Maybe I did some research. And you know what's second? You know <laughs> what's second? And by research, I mean maybe I jacked off. <laughs> um, we'll let you know as soon as the fights start. I don't know why uh, the fights are a little bit late. It says 12.05 on my phone. <coughs> Amateur hour. It smells like weed in here. It says 12.05 on my phone. I don't know if that means... Uh, Somebody fucked up, or they're having a problem. They're, they were, we were watching it earlier, though, which doesn't make any sense. Um, it was weird. live from uh, Japan. Goldberg and uh, Brian Stan calling the action. Maybe it's just a delay for the main card. <clears throat> By the way, I fucking love Fight Pass, dude. It's awesome. I fucking love it. I man. tweeted that Fight Pass is great. Everybody's like, you fucking chill. I know. It's, it's great. ridiculous. Fuck off. It's great. Dude, I know. It's any fight you could think of in the UFC, you could just watch it. Pride yeah. fight. You could just Instantly. watch it. And it works. It's, it was crazy. Because I, when I cornered Ben Saunders at, at the Tulsa event, I get there Friday night. I've never worked with Ben before. He asked me to corner him like a week before, and he goes, dude, you want to come down? And uh, he had been playing rubber guard off and on f over the years, and he was playing a different version. He was playing uh, a version I never played, and uh, and then he kind of moved away from it because I figured I figured that it would he would have hit a dead end with that style. But I didn't want to say anything because it was kind of working for him. Mm -hmm. And then he got cut from the UFC, went to Bellator, he'd win some, he'd lose some, and I kind of lost track of what he was really doing. And then he saw the Hickson video. The video that we did here, Whoa. and uh, he 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 twittered me direct message goes, "Hey man, when are you going to do a seminar in Florida?" Like he realized he was playing stuff wrong and he wanted to fix it. Mm -hmm. So I said, "Well, I don't have anything planned in Florida, but I do have a little rubber guard genius out there, a guy named Tyler Woolsey." I go, "Let me hook you up with him." They hooked up. He as soon as he as soon as he got done with Tyler, he said, "Dude, I want you to corner me next week. Can you do it? I know it's last minute," and um, did it, and. So Friday night, I get there Friday night, I go right to his hotel. He has Fight Pass hooked up, right? So, because he was studying his opponent. His opponent, I think, mm, it wasn't on, he wasn't 
I don't think he fought in the UFC before, but he had fight pass. So I said, oh, shit. So we put on. I wanted to keep it really simple for him with rubber guard. There's, it, it's so sophisticated and so vast. There's pieces of the rubber guard that I don't even know how to play yet. There's new pieces. I'm like, shit, what are you guys doing over here? Right? There's new shit that's incredible. Half guillotine. A, a guillotine from the rubber guard. A guillotine with your leg involved. It's on? Hold on a second. It's on? The fights are on? Yeah, guy's walking out right so now. So what is this? I don't know what you got here. Oh, is it a different thing? Am I on the wrong thing? That doesn't make any sense. Live events. Let's see. Yeah, you got to press live event. Live man. now. That'll be it. So it didn't switch over from the pre. Oh, there how we weird. go. We rolling. It didn't switch over from the prelims. That's goofy. That's goofy. Tell it's you what's like a not different goofy. stream. This coffee. Bulletproof coffee. Not goofy. Friend shop's got a little bit of a fucking coffee problem. Addiction. Yeah. And when I stop fighting, it's going to become drugs. Well, my point was with the UFC fight passes, I get there Friday night, and we kept it really simple. Simple rubber guard, mission control with elbows. We, we put on Jason Day versus Alan Belcher. Uh, it was a, an amazing display of elbows from, from the guard. And Matt Horowitz versus Dan Miller. You know, just right there, we would have, it would have been hard to find those fights. You know, I guess you could go to MMA Core. It's or, always tricky, though, right? You're it's like tough to find the them. internet yeah. for yeah. Them. yeah. But with UFC Fight Pass, man, boom, any UFC fight. Is it every single fight that the UFC's it's ever had? It's every single fight the UFC's had and every single... There's another one of those, too. There's everything... Yes, that's, that's a full one, too. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, every single fight in Pride, too. Even the early ones, like UFC 2? Everything. 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 Wow. All the Strike Force fights, too. Because everything too. that I could think of came up, but I'm like thinking everything. maybe... Maybe the the old ones. Maybe UFC one even. There's I'm also pretty there's, sure. If I'm wrong, I apologize, but I'm dude, pretty in, sure in everything's between, in there. In between these fights, let's well, throw let's throw it on. There's like also a, a uh, well. We can't we can't otherwise we'll go off the screen because it's running through my laptop. Oh. But but we'll figure it out. I, I don't I, I don't think there's anything that's not in there. I mean, there's what? also a crazy show called UFC oh. Now with a couple of cutie pies on there. Kapow. Brendan Schaub and Kenny Florian. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Damn. show. What? Brendan's <laughs> horny and shit, man. He's talking about himself. Chinese girl. He's talking about himself being a cutie pie. It's true. Oh. So you're not even paying attention. Oh. Jen, Brown, <laughs> Jen said, Brown's actually he a cutie said pie. Brendan Schaub. Couple of cutie pies like Brendan Schaub. Yeah, I talked in the third person. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry, Eddie. You, hey, Bravo. I was barely just... paying attention to you. She's it's nothing new. I'm used to that with Callan. Don't worry. <laughs> no, 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 I just keep on keeping on. Callum's the worst with that. Like he'll get into modes where he wants to say he wants to say something, and it doesn't matter what the fuck you're saying. What he has to say, like it, it has no relation whatsoever to what you're saying. And go, wow, that's great. I met a guy. He wrote a book, and he'll go <laughs> on to this fucking. Why are you talking about economics like, now? What? Like, how do we get into economics? Like, he has this thought in his head. It's like a runaway train. He's just trying to get out of it's the insane, way. Insane, man. <laughs> But that's why he's so funny, too. It's like that's one of the why, things yeah. you recognize about comedians. It's like that same thing that makes them like really funny. It's this this mad dog bum rush over madness. to get attention. Straight madness, man. Nobody's better at like c commanding attention than Cal. You know what Brian called me? He was dead serious. He goes, bro, instead of selling T-shirts, I got a great idea. He's never came to me with an idea for shit. He goes, good. Koozies. <laughs> We should sell koozies. Oh, God. I went, are you fucking like kidding me? Beer koozies? Yes. Who buys beer koozies still? I mean, what, what, you, how much you, of you a know drunk you know are you? Cal you like, I need my beer just a little insulated. I thought you meant jacuzzi. So no, like, straight <laughs> dumbest <laughs> idea ever. Straight, straight yes. jacuzzi, <laughs> dog. <laughs> what are you going to... Can you imagine the warehouse you would need? <laughs> To keep an inventory. The fighter in the kid <laughs> jacuzzi. That's what I meant. That, I thought, that's that, hilarious. That makes, that makes more sense than a koozie. But, they're but, both hilarious. But for, for a second, I'm like thinking, damn, they're jumping on Brian. Poor Brian. <laughs> but then you said his idea. I'm like, oh, no shit. That's <laughs> a terrible idea. No wonder they always talk shit on him. <laughs> Trying to sell jacuzzis. <laughs> it's like 1982. <laughs> well, not only that. I mean, who the fuck's got room for a jacuzzi? Kayoji Horiguchi. I don't. I'm not familiar with him. And got who's a, his? Uh, who's his opponent? Do we know? We got to pay attention here. I got a badass jacuzzi. I've used it once. <laughs> Seriously, in okay. three years, once. Let's see who who these guys are that are fighting here. Powerful Ariane in Japan. Hola. I hadn't seen her in a while. I thought maybe she was taking a break. She's well. She's busy. She's got a TV show now. Really? Yeah. She's on Overhaul. And, Oh, shit. Yeah, she's the host of Oprah. Yeah, yeah, and Spike, right? That's uh, that's Bud's show, Brian. 
Hiraguchi and Delos Reyes. That's Bud's show where they take a car and they they but, they re- completely redo it for like a week. He has and then nothing they get to do with that show anymore. Though, yes, right? it does now. Oh, he's, he's does. back on it. He's yeah, back. he's back. Huh? Yeah, Bud Whoa. Bud owns it again, or he's a producer of it again. One of those things. That was his show. It was yeah, his yeah, idea. Yeah. I don't know what happened. I, you know, I'm just happy he's doing Ooh, it again. Hell oh, of a body, oh, kick, body son. kick! It's over. It's you, over. You never know. No, it's ah, over. You never he's know. doing the smart it's thing, over. recovering. Yeah, he's he's on the bottom. You don't recover from that. You, you, you can, can like this though, like this though. You can. You can if the guy stays on him. See, if the guy was smart and he's a striker, if he's that good of a striker, he'd probably try to get away, right? Yes, 100. percent Because that guy would be much more helpless in a non-clinching well, situation. Well, the ref will force 